Now, if you don't have a bay tree in your garden, I highly recommend that you get one. It's a fantastic tree and the leaves have many uses in cooking. The leaf is a very well scented herb that can be used in so many dishes. But believe it or not, it's actually expensive to buy the leaves individually, but it's cheaper just to buy your own tree. Now the thing with the bay tree is, it can actually grow up to about 12 meters high. So as a herb plant, I don't want to grow that high because I'll never use that many leaves anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant it into a pot. A pot is the best place to put a bay tree, if you want to restrict the height, of course. So we're gonna start off by putting some soil into the pot. So we're going to use some good quality potting mix. You can pick it up from any good nursery. Now you don't need to add any fertilizer like cow manure because the bay tree is a very resilient tree. So just make sure you size it up right. So we're just gonna loosen just around the pot just by pushing it in. And just give it a quick push just from the bottom so it's up. And you'll find that it should just pop right out. And we'll just stick that right in into the pot. And it's just a simple matter of filling in with some more potty mix. Well, it's that simple. Now just try and keep the soil at the same level as what it was in the pot. So all that is left now is just to give it a very good watering in, just to help that soil settle around the plant. And that's all you need to do. Now the only fertilizer that you'll probably need is just a slow release pellet type fertilizer that you just sprinkle on the soil. And when it comes to watering, less is better with the bay tree. Now the roots are very susceptible to rot, so it's actually better to underwater than overwater the bay tree. Which is also another reason why it's perfect in a pot, because even if it dries out, it's still gonna be fine. Obviously if it dries out, just give it a quick water, but as I said, just don't overdo it. And your bay tree will continue to grow to a certain size, of course, because it's in a pot. It'll grow to a lovely, lovely bush, and you'll have an endless supply of lovely bay leaves to use in your cooking on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for watching this episode of Home Handy Hints. Please do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another Home Handy Hint.